right, bam, right in the face. There's that picture. Oh, man. All right, so, yeah, this is part two. Um, if you saw part one, how I cut myself out and then put myself on top of some flypaper texture by Paul Grant and Jill Ferry. Um, I will show you their site in a minute, but I did part one. And then I brought it over here where I'm going to use uh, some of Marilyn Sholin's uh, brushes to clone this and uh, make a clone painting. But, yeah, I, if you hear the fan in the background, it seems that my cold has changed to a fever, which uh, really messed up my voice. Uh, but if you hear the fan, sorry, I needed the fan to cool off. But, let's do this here. This is my painting uh, tutorial part one. You can find it on my um, Thomas Churchwell. Um, YouTube site and uh, I put my picture on flypaper background which you can find here uh, at flypapertextures.com uh, all of these are great I'm really excited to be using August and Autumn um, painterly textures um, probably tomorrow but you should go to their blog. Jill just put up some great images. Uh, the swimmer. Um, but I really like this one. The rain one. It really has a nice painterly effect. And I think she used August painterly for this. Really cool. Alright. Um, if you want to connect with Paul Graham and go to his Facebook, which is right here, uh, Paul Singanito, <laughs> there it is, um, and let's get back to this, this you know. <laughs> um, I'm using Marilyn's uh, paintbrushes that you can find on her site and I'll show you that in a minute uh, I'm using the MS cloner brushes uh, which you can find well here right first here's her Facebook page and oh this is her new uh, premium brushes that she just came out with uh, which you can purchase here on her digital Photoshop a digital painting shop dot com and it's uh, you can get the brushes and then get the video together for seventy five dollars and she has a teaser video out there and it, they look really cool um, I'm going to be using her she gives away some brushes I'm going to be using some of her free brushes but I will be doing some more tutorials later using the premium set of cloner brushes, um, which should come out cool. All right, so let's get to this painting. Okay, this is not this painting, this cloning painting, which it's a clone, right? And you're like, well, is that really? like a real painting if you're using the clone if you're cloning and well yeah I mean this is the 21st century and this is just the way people are doing it now and I'm a traditional painter I mean I paint traditionally as you could have seen in my last video I mean I paint in acrylics and I draw all the time so I have a history of being a traditional painter and I like clone painting also, but I will paint um, in painter um, without cloning. But this thing, the first thing we have to do is we have to clone it. It's not a quick clone. 
That's what we're gonna do. There's a clone clone. Ew, there's two of you now. And I'm going to use her thick soft uh, MS thick soft cloner, which you can find in her MS clone brushes. And I'm gonna do this in the background. brush up a little bit more and now I'm going to use my Wacom towel a Wacom Wacom W-A-C-O-M tablet it's the model CTE 630 which was given to me as a gift um, along with uh, Coral Painter uh, 12 which was bought for me for my birthday which is really nice and um, I'm glad I'm going to have more birthdays <laughs> so when the uh, painter comes out with 13. Anyway, we're going to use her thick, soft cloner and just smudge in the background. Right. And we're going to make these a little more interesting. Here. Give it more of a painterly look. I'm not really used to sitting here talking to nobody. And so there might be some periods of no talking at all. But this, um, I'm not going to use many brushes for this. And I'm going to do the hair. I'm going to just smudge it in. And I'm going to use another brush later to give the hair more detail using another of Marilyn's uh, brushes. I think they're called portrait brushes. But right now I'm just going to fill in the big areas. Now I like doing this on the edges of the painting. Right? And I'm going to use a, a dab approach which I learned from using Skip Allen's dab brushes. You should look up Skip Allen. He's got a lot of brushes uh, for painter. And uh, he has a great Santa Claus look. I have a younger Santa Claus look. Let's just fill this in. going to do a close-up <coughs> of my face so um, it's probably really advisable to get the children out of the room in about now <laughs> doesn't this look like it looks like a painting right the close up. Be careful now. Back up. That one's from the actual side. Oh, stop. Ah! Watch out! <laughs> and we're gonna go to this major forehead here. Way too small. dabbing if you can hear. With this brush you get a canvas texture which is pretty cool. Get a little smaller. You can use like in Photoshop you can use the uh, bracket uh, keys to make the brushes larger or smaller. Hey, what happened? Rembrandt nose. Now we have smaller. The eye. 
guys. These are pressure sensitive, so um, the more I press, the more the brush comes out. See, I'm pressing more. does have a hair detail brush which I use in the mustache and stuff but man doesn't this look like a painting now this I like this part here Watch this. I'm just dabbing dabbing with a, with a small slight movement Never be this close. Wow. Uh, yeah, people are like, why do you always have a fuzzy face? Well, it's because I have really sensitive skin, and the razor really hurts when I shave, and it hurts all day, no matter what I do. So. I just leave it most of the time. It's a reason for everything. Get this on Marilyn's website. The hairbrush detail, which I can add more hair to the hair that I don't have.
also has a brush um, where you can add color. Now, as a traditional painter, I would add a little blue to the shadow here. Which brush is that? I did this the uh, oil bristle brush. Which is in her Den's oil brushes. And I use some blue. Lightly. I have it at 7% here. And I'm just add it right on. the picture like that. Just a little couple of touches there in the uh, shadow area. Giving it a little coolness. Right, maybe a little in the ear and there. Right. And that Rembrandt nose needs a little red. Sometimes my eyes are gray, sometimes they're blue, and I'm going to blue them up a little bit. And we are finished. There is the painting. Um, well, I can fix the hair a little bit up here. And let's go back to her um, big soft corner. Alright, so get ready for part three, which will be going back to Photoshop and using Paul and Jill's fly paper. Bye!